Hello, everybody. Lesson M7 is to fold a spiral. It visualizes a mathematical theorem called the Pythagorean, both fascinating and beautiful. Now let's get down to folding demonstration. Start with a later size rectangular copy paper. Fold several one inch strips, cut them off for folding. The folding demonstration will be provided in next video. First, fold a right triangle. Then you have a hypotenuse there. And then fold along the hypotenuse. You have a white right triangle. And fold it back along the hypotenuse. This fold make this 90 degree angle. Now fold along the hypotenuse for this triangle. The blue edge form second right triangle in white. Fold back along the hypotenuse and then continue the process. The rest folds are repeat. Add another strip, tape them together, and then continue the fold. You can carry on until the 17th triangle, but you may stop after 10. And here is the spiral. This spiral consists of multiple right triangles. The first one, and the second one, and so are rest of them. In the right triangle, one angle is always 90 degrees. Among the three sides, the longest side, C, is called hypotenuse. The other two angles, alpha and beta, add up to 90 degrees because three angles in the triangle always add up to 180 degrees. These two angles are called complementary angles. This is the angle relationship in the right triangle. The three sides also have a relation a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. What does it mean? Remember the area of a square. a squared is the area of a square whose length is a. Similarly, we have b squared and c squared. How do we know the two little squares add up to the big square? Well, we have origami to show that. Start from a square. Fold along the diagonal. Fold the tip to any point arbitrarily on the diagonal line. Fold along this edge and this edge. Highlight these two folds. Now we have two squares and two rectangles. The rectangle can be split into two right triangles. The right triangle has side A and B and hypotenuse C. Because this lens is A, this square has an area of A square. B, and then this area has area of B square. Now let's fold along the hypotenuse. 
Then fold the square edge to the triangle edge. These four triangles are same in size. Flip over. On the back side, we have four triangles and one square. What is the length of the square? Fold it over. It's C. So the square has an area of C square. Subtract the four triangles. This side remains one big C square. Flip over. We have two small squares, A square and B square, and four same size triangles. Subtract the four triangles. It remains two little squares. They are same as the big square C. The origami demonstrated this relation, which is called Pythagorean theorem. The folding process can be summarized in this figure. The front side has two little squares and four right triangles. The back side has a big square and four right triangles. All the right triangles are in the same size. Subtract them resulted in this relationship. Pythagorean theorem is very useful. Let's look at the square one. How long is the diagonal line? Look at the right triangle, in which both A and B are at one. So the C square is equal to two. So then C is square root two. Using the Pythagorean, we can calculate the third side of a right triangle. Next, let's look at this rectangle. How long is its diagonal line? In the right triangle, a is three, b is four. Using the Pythagorean, we have c square equal to twenty-five, so c is five. Now is the OMG challenge. Let's look at the spiral which is folded. The strip is one inch wide. The question to you is how long is this segment? The second segment, and all the segments. In the spiral, you may pause the video and find out all the segments. The OMG challenge on creativity is to create a unique spiral art. Here are a few examples. The first one is a snail with the spiral. Next is the keyboard with a spiral. The third example is a lampshade with the spiral. Both beautiful and utilitarian. The last one is a combination of three spirals. Now it's your turn to be creative, to create a unique spiral art. Here is the answer to the question. Each segment is the hypotenuse of a right triangle, which can be calculated using the Pythagorean.